Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. For eight years, I wrote the Vectorworks training manuals. So I've written a lot of manuals. Through those manuals, I've helped thousands of people to learn Vectorworks. Now I'm just writing a new course at the moment, and part of the course is the building of the site. And this is what we can see at the moment. So I like to build the context whenever I build a site model so that I can see the surrounding buildings. I think this is a really cool trick. In this movie, I'm going to show you how to build these really effectively. Now this is just one movie from my course. There's loads of movies on my course. So if you want access to this, then become a member of my website. Hope you like watching it. So the next thing we need to do on this project is to create this context, these surrounding houses here. This uh, PDF file is going to get in the way, so I'm going to create a new class for this. I'm going to call it Site Scan. So let's create a brand new class, Site-Scan. Okay, and then I'm just going to OK that, and then I can assign that to the Site Scan, hide that so I don't have to see it. And now I can go back to one of my imported 2D files, that's this one here. So we need to select all these polygons that make up the, the buildings. An easy way to do it is to use something like the Select Similar tool, that's this one here. Click on that, selects all those objects, shift click on that one, for some reason that was on a different class, and I'm going to go copy. So back to my module 4, I'm going to go paste, and I'm going to group these together to make it quick, so I'm going to use the Control G, and now if I turn on my site scan, I should be able to see the surrounding houses. So this building here lines up with that one there, and you can see it's slightly different from what we expected. That's my group there, and that's the polygon there. So it's slightly different, maybe that was a different project. I'm not going to worry about it too much. So I'm going to hide the site scan again. So those are my buildings. This one here I think should be further back because that's the road up here. So let's have a look at those. I'm going to grab hold of those three and just move them down the site a little bit. So I move that down to there, and I think that's probably about right. So exit that, and I'm going to ungroup, control U to ungroup. Now these are seven polygons. They all want to be on the class S site existing house. I'm going to change this to have no fill, so they're there. So these are polygons, and we're going to use the massing model to build our houses. So where's the massing model? Let's look at our site planning tool set. Here's one here called the massing model tool. And we draw around or trace around these objects and it will create a massing model. Now the first time you create the massing model, you want to make sure that you put in the right classes. So for example, for the wall class, I have a class called site massing model. And this is the class for the walls and I'm going to choose Walls Existing. We have a Roof class as well, so I'm going to choose Site, Massing Model, Roof Existing. So I'm going to not use Grade Limits, I'm not going to use a Site Modifier. If you use a Site Modifier, the Massing Model will affect the cut and fill calculations of your site, so be careful about that. We've got Shadow Settings here, so we're going to have this set so it's a um, let's make it 0.25 and this is going to be factor of the object height and we want it to go around there color I'm going to choose a black color but I'm going to choose a low opacity for that so you actually get a see-through shadow now if you're putting plants in and you've got Vectorworks landmark and you've got the planting tool you can use the plants and have exactly the same shadow which is really cool okay so that's the first one um, let's have a pitched roof, and the other option I reckon you should choose is the use custom profile here, custom roof from profile. Now it's really important that you do that before you do anything else. You can't go back and make that change later. And there's our massing model. Now the great thing is if I go and edit the profile that brings up that, and that is a standard roof, which means I can click on this one, I can make that a gable end, I can show the wall inside there. 
So if we have a look now, you can see that it's got the gable end on it. So we might know the elevation of that house, so you can type in the elevation, which was 41 meters above sea level. And that'll bring the house up to the right level pretty much. No, back up, back up. Now if we have a look at our other site plans, we have some other site plans that we could use. This one here, for example, let's edit the crop and we'll delete the crop object. And that should give us a pretty wide site. And that's site model number three. You can see here that's site model three. So we can go back to our site scan. We can select this object, AEC on the menu bar, terrain, and send to surface. Now this will ask us what surface we want to use. And we use site model three. And there's the house sitting on the site model. Now I just have to be careful of the difference in the elevations of my layers because our layers may have picked up different elevations like this. So for example, that site plan three, that should be at zero, just like this one here. And when we go AC terrain and center surface, now it looks better at sitting on the site. So let's go back to that. Now that we've got that those settings in place, we can select all of these objects. Right click on them. We're going to create objects from shapes. We're going to use a massing model. That massing model. Show the properties dialog box, click OK. Now this time I don't want to have two stories, I only want to have one story. And the houses are only about 12 feet high. Click OK. AEC on the menu bar. We're going to go to terrain and send to surface. And again we're going to use site model 3. And I should now have single story houses that are about the right elevation for my site. Select any of these, right click, we're going to choose Edit Profile, there's the roof. Don't forget we can then use our selection tool, click on that roof, you're a gable, show the wall. And this one as well can be a gable and show the wall as well. And then when we exit, we've got the gables on that particular massing model. So that's how to get the context in. So the next step is for us to start putting in the plan of our building. So I hope you enjoyed that movie. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like these movies, don't forget to become a subscriber. Hit the bell icon so you get notified. But if you really want to get the nitty gritty, become a member of my YouTube channel. That is uh, the full member of my YouTube channel. Or become a member of my website. Join me for live workshops where we cover topics like this. Thanks again.